Welcome to CalCast, your creator national podcast. This is God Network News, episode 106. Welcome, GNN fans, to another episode of God Network News, the podcast that tells you what God's doing around the world, not what CNN tells you, but what GNN tells you is going on in the world. If you're tired of listening to all of that crisis network news and you want to hear what God's doing, well, give us a listen. Greetings, faithful God Network News fans and all you new listeners to God Network News. We're really excited to be bringing you fresh news from the field of what God's doing amongst Unreached People Group. And uh, we want to thank you for all of you that listen to our series on the Middle East and all of the incredible stories and the comments that you gave. Please don't hesitate to put comments uh, on our website and any questions you might have. And do visit those links links that we have put in the show notes if you're interested in getting in contact with some of those interesting people that are behind the stories. And we want to start a whole new series, and this one is going to be very exciting. We've got tremendous amount of stories, fantastic, incredible stories of God's miracles from the continent of deep, dark Africa. Actually, it's not deep, dark Africa anymore, because about 60% of the population of that continent are are now believers in Jesus, but there are still many unreached people groups there, and we've got a lot of workers that are doing incredible, miraculous work amongst those remaining unreached people groups. So we want to begin this new series on unreached peoples uh, in Africa, and so uh, we want to start this series, and I hope that you will be inspired by all of these great stories from the continent of Africa. Godfrey became a wonderful church planter. Mm. Uh, sometimes he just uh, he he came uh, to give me some accountability report about the, the the field, what he was doing, and the interesting thing is he was doing church planting, evangelism, but also he was teaching others. Mm -hmm. He was. Training multiplying others, himself, multiplying yeah, the, the, the others. number of the, the church planters. Mm. So it's very interesting because he said to me, uh, uh, Paulo, we need to train the people and we, we have to give them a time after they receive Jesus and get the training. We need to give them a time that they must plant a new church. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That's good. That's so, great. So then I said, okay, if you want to to work like that, no problem, <laughs> because he knows his his people, the culture, the customs of his people. Then he yeah. said, there is no yeah. problem if you force them to plant church among the unreached. He said to me, we need to train them and just uh, push them to go and <laughs> that's right, that's good, <laughs> and do church planting. That's so good. Godfrey he planted many of the churches in Tanzania up to now, uh, since 2011 until 2018, we planted 234 simple churches wow, in Tanzania. Wow, that's so, amazing. And Godfrey, I'm sure he. He was one of the main the, responsible for the movement that happened. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, Godfrey, he trained many people. He helped me to prepare 
the training just simple just in time training right. three days training wow. we made it together then we start to do training in different places in different villages in tanzania mm. so uh, god used him really powerful planting churching and training people and making disciples mm. and then you were telling me that uh unfortunately he passed away yes uh at the beginning of 2018 i just arrived from brazil from a vacation time in brazil so then he came to me and he said paul i am i am not feeling well i'm feeling some pain in that area here near the bladder bladder mm -hmm. so then we took him to the hospital to uh, make some to go to the doctor and to make some examination. So uh, after three months, we just discovered that he got cancer, mm. uh, bladder cancer. Bladder cancer yeah. So then we made some fundraising to take him to the hospital and make the the surgery. Mm. So in June of 2018, he got to he succeed to. To, to make the the surgery, mm -hmm. we took him to the main seat in Tanzania. So then we were taking him to the hospital many times and to see doctor making examination. So many people, many people, uh, help giving money, blessing mm -hmm. to help him because some people they knew the situation and his history, mm -hmm. what was going on with him, but also the, his past history, mm -hmm. how he was very important in the kingdom of God. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, before. He passed away in July 2018. I and others and him, we just sit down in a place in one of our villages. And we, we on that time, we were just talking about our job and making some evaluation. Mm -hmm. So then we decided uh, to know how many churches we had planted and how many people we uh, had baptized. We baptized since 2011 until mm. 2018. And we just realized after getting uh, a contability report from some people, when we put everything in the paper, yeah. we saw that we baptized 4,500 people. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it was Together, amazing. Together, the two Together, of you. Together, wow. I and Godfrey and others that now we have yeah. we had trained. Wow, praise so, the Lord. Yes, praise the Lord. But uh, Godfrey got sick and this sickness was very serious mm. so then in september 2018 27 of september so he just went to live with jesus now mm. he's with jesus yeah <laughs> praise the lord yeah well, i'm sure that he had a very great uh homecoming yeah and many many thousands of people beyond those four thousand that were baptized will come yes and thank you and thank uh godfrey uh, for his obedience, you know, and uh, maybe we can just end with praying for his family. Yes, That'd sure. be nice. And, and sure. God Network News fans, please pray with us for this great man of God that's gone to be with Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for the life of Godfrey, that the time that he was here with us, but also uh, now I I want to, to praise your name, Jesus, mm. because you did many things through yes, his Lord. life yes, he was uh, an amazing person here he, mm. he did the job of god he was someone that contributed for the kingdom of god thank mm -hmm. you jesus for his life yes, and Lord. we really praise your name and now we want to pray for his wife uh, and his uh, kids and thank you very much i really want to bless their life I want to ask you, God, just mm. to open the door for them to get away, for them to survive, for them also to be, also to be wonderful people of God, also for them to just to go on, to go ahead with the job that you trust on the hands of Godfrey. Mm -hmm. God, you can really raise some of the kids just to go on with the job that he did here. Yes, uh, then I want to praise your name for the life that he had here. Mm. And also I want to ask you to bless and protect his family in yes, Jesus Jesus. name. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, in Jesus name. Amen. 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 Thank you so much for sharing that story. 
that's really your story as well as yeah. his story and the and a good background for the other stories that you've uh, given us as uh, well. And so thank you so much again, uh, Paulo, for this exciting story. And uh, and it's really the story of, of God doing amazing work in Tanzania using ordinary people who are just willing to be obedient to him. Thank you so much, Amen. Paulo. Amen. God bless, bless you, brother. Oh, in Jesus' name. If you enjoyed this episode, please consider donating to help us continue to bring exciting stories fresh from the field. Visit our website at godnetworknews.com and select the PayPal link on the right side of the page or consider becoming a Patreon partner to receive access to more valuable materials exclusive to our members.